It's Rogue. And since this is going to be a cringe Legion match, because survivors think the Legion is so cringe, um, I'm going to start with a cringe introduction. And the biggest cringe in this game, in my opinion, uh, besides former Swifts and comms playing like home players and Starstruck Nurse, which thankfully we got rid of, is the concept of playing this thing at high MMR. Not because it doesn't exist, but because it doesn't mean what you think it means. So follow me on this wild ride about what MMR is, how it works, and why saying high MMR, whatever, is uh, just, you know, I don't know, just trying to trick people into thinking something for your own profit, which I understand because you need to eat at the end of the day as a streamer, but it's still cringe. So MMR is a number that uh, defines basically how many wins or losses you got. Uh, it works that it goes up five points for every match you escape, or as a killer for every survivor you kill at the end of the trial. Now you can start seeing the flow in this. I can just face camp someone as Baba, and if they play artistically, which people do because they get bored otherwise, um, well, I get my kills, I get my fives up. And if I am instead going for super trick shots as Slinger with no add-ons, maybe I'm gonna get four people out. But I'm better. I'm better at the game. I'm learning. I'm learning way more than someone sitting in front of a hook, right? Uh, this is not the point. So let's say that you're not playing the game in a cringe way, or just playing normally. How long do you think it takes, as a killer, because it's easier to calculate, to get to high MMR? Well, well. So, after you play the game for a little while, and you're out of the baby pool, basically, uh, you're gonna start your MMR count at 1000. Now, this can go up to 3000, but it's basically split in two at 1600. How much does it take? Like, how long does it take to get from 1000 to 1600? Uh, it takes you 30 matches in which you 4k. Which, you know, when you start, is not that hard to uh, accomplish. But of course, let's just say that uh, people get hatched, you let the last one go, it doesn't really matter. Um, it's gonna take you a little bit longer, it's gonna be more than 30 matches, let's say 60. Okay, whatever. Uh, but you're gonna get there, and you're gonna get there because by design, Behavior decided that um, Killer is gonna have a higher win rate as Survivor than Survivor. Like, in the 6.1, they decided that uh, they wanted to get the kill rates to about 60% for every killer. Which means that you it doesn't matter how good or bad you are. Like, unless you are literally AFK in the match, you're gonna get that 1600 at some point. With any killer. It doesn't matter which killer it is. Which killer it is. So, we start, we start seeing the flaw in that, right? Everyone is IMMR after a while that they've played. Of course, if you just started, if you have like a couple of months on it and you play very casually, it's going to take you longer. But otherwise, yeah, you're there. We're basically all there. Uh, I don't play the game like a sweat lord. Like you, you see my builds. You see how I play. I I don't camp. I, I don't tunnel if I can avoid it. Like if the survivor runs in my face, of course it will. But <laughs> I'm sorry. Uh, I don't run particularly sweaty builds. Uh, I'm just having fun. I'm just a horror fan. I'm just chilling. But it doesn't matter. It doesn't save me from my MMR. I get as many, you know, 10,000 each survivor squads on comps playing like comp teams as you as the next person. And of course I get wrecked. I have like a little bit above 1,000 hours in this game and I play both sides. So this says something about, you know, how much I play on Killer and Survivor. It's not that much if you take them, you know, separately. But this is not where it stops at all. As you can see from this, in that pool, you know, above or below 1,600, you see mixed people, especially as Killer. If it's that easy to get to above 1,600, you will get a variety of Killer. You will get the nurse with 700 hours in the game and the nurse with 7,000 hours in the game but it doesn't stop there because the biggest thing, the matchmaking, which is the actual, you know um, thing that pairs you with people the biggest thing that it takes into account is queue times. Matchmaking does not want you to have super long queue times so that you just 
uh, get the most accurate matchmaking because maybe it's you know people just want to play if you want to play you don't want to wait like 50 minutes or 40 minutes in queue as it happened when mmr first came out just so you get like the perfect match of people where you have to play super sweaty to actually escape or win because they're so perfectly balanced around your skill level and i don't agree that's some fun and you know it's good to have a, mi- a mix of um, skills to play against. And it's also good to have fast queue times. But this also means that you get what you get. And you will get as many, if, if you've played for a while, you will get as many super good teams as half babies as the other person. And the same do streamers that put high MMR plays, whatever, in their titles. And if you were wondering, you know, if you were wondering, like, oh my god, why does this streamer with three million thousand hours that is so good in the game, why do they get these babies? It's because we all get them. We all get them. When these are the people available online and, you know, the better matches for you are already busy playing against someone else, you will get the babies. You will get the comp teams. I use comp teams very loosely here. Comp teams don't usually play in pubs, as far as I know. You will get these people as much as the other person, as much as the streamer that has to put high MMR plays in their title because, you know, they need to survive tomorrow too. And they need to make you think that they are facing the best players ever. Spoiler, they're not. They're facing the same people that you are facing, that I'm facing. This this is just how it works because even if the player base is big, not everyone is online at all the time. Like, I play in the morning. No one is fucking online. So if the only teams online have 30 hours in the game, they will get thrown at me and, you know, get wrecked, I guess. And if I'm playing on a Sunday where everyone and their mother is online, MMR is going to really shine and pair me with people that I cannot beat because I don't have that many hours. So enjoy this next game where... You know, these guys just literally vaulted into my lap at every corner. And the game before, I got so fucked. I got so fucked. I was like, okay, you know, maybe today is not my day. But no, then I get this. Hi, MMR. Terrible place. Enjoy. I don't mind Cold Tower unless it spawns like the hell. Um, it's not that I want to go to you. Oh, everyone is here? Okay. Why are they giving me a lot of notifications? What? What is happening? If that would ah. pull it down, but that hasn't happened to me like in five years, maybe. Ah. What? I- I'm always a bit scared when I get this kind of survival. Okay, she's 
a potato. Okay, understandable, honestly. Happens. But what about everyone else? What's happening? Is this window open?
What? Uh, uh, uh. 